Welcome to For Detroit Dudes TV. I'm your host, Ted Belowski, and this, my friends, is episode number four of The Dude Show. We've got a great show tonight. Um, we're going to talk about Shorts Brewing Company, and we're going to look at one of their beers, which happens to be in my top three all-time favorite beers in the world, so I'm really excited about that. I want to do a couple housekeeping things real quick before we get into it. I want to try to keep tonight's show um, quick and short for you, but um, I want to talk about Facebook and Twitter. You know, we're on Facebook, you can find us at 4DetroitDudes.com. We've really been trying to be active on there um, and posting different topics and things that we think you guys want to talk about. Um, and on Twitter as well, you can find us at 4DetroitDudes on Twitter. Kind of the same thing. We're using that really as a communication tool that we want to reach out to you guys and start conversations, interact with you. We want to hear what you think about what we're doing. If you think what we're doing is great, let us know. If you think it sucks, let us know. You know, We want all that feedback because that's the only way we're going to get better. You know, bad feedback is just as important to us as good feedback. So don't be afraid to tell us if you think we're not doing something right or if you think we can do something better. Or if there's topics or other things that you want us to talk about, you know, go to those places. Facebook, 4DetroitDudes.com on Facebook and at 4DetroitDudes on Twitter. And let us know. Interact with us. So tonight, like I said, we're going to talk about Shorts Brewing Company. Um, it's a Michigan-based company. Right on the box here it says, Handmade by People Who Care in Northern Michigan. Um, they're based in Bel Air which is um, just up north about eh, maybe three, four hours from, from Metro Detroit here. Um, they've, they opened in 2004. They actually converted an old hardware store up there into their brew pub, and that's where they started their brewing operations in 2004. That first year, they brewed about 178 barrels. Um, today, in 2010, they're brewing over 2,000 barrels a year, and the reason they're able to do that is they opened a production facility in 2008, actually in Elk Rapids. So if you're familiar with that area, Bel Air is on one side of the lake, and Elk Rapids is on the other side, so that's where they open their production facility. Now, I have not been up there, but we're hoping to get up there over the winter here and do a show from up there. You know, we want to sit down at the brew pub and taste some of the food, look at their brewing process, talk to the brewmaster, hopefully go over to the production facility and do some video there and show you guys how they actually make um, these wonderful beers that they do. Um, so, again, we're going to try to do that over the winter months. They typically have about nine beers that they do annually. They've got IPAs, they've got Pilsners, Ales, Lagers, um, Porters, Stouts, and they do a number of different seasonal beers and, and holiday-type uh, beers as well. So the beer that we're going to look at tonight is called Humalupalicious. It's absolutely in my top three favorite beers. You know, my top three really rotates based on the day and how I feel. Um, and on most days, Humalupalicious is going to be ranked number one or number two on my list for me. It's an absolutely fantastic beer. Um, and it's named after the hop flower Humulus lupulus. And I don't know if you can see on the box, but it's got a giant hop flower on there that almost looks like a pine cone. And that's really a great representation of what this beer is all about. If you've never had it, if you've never had this type of IPA, it's extremely hoppy. Um, so we'll just start with that. Um, I've already poured myself some here. Um, and right away we can just take a look at the color of it. And you can see that it's got a really kind of dark um, amber color to it. Very, very strong color. Um, it's clear though, if you've, if you've drank in other IPAs, sometimes you'll see it's cloudy, um, you know, when you pour it. This one is really clear, you can really kind of see right through it, but it's, it's got that real deep color to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little sniff here. So from an aroma perspective, I mean, it's got really, um, a citrusy aroma to it. It almost smells like orange peel. Um, if you squeezed your own fresh orange juice before it... It's got some elements of that. It's got almost kind of a grapefruit, um, a little bit of a grapefruit hint to it, but from a smell perspective, it's really more of an orange or orange or lemon zest uh, smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a give it a whirl. As I mentioned, it's named after a hop flower, Humalupolis. And the hops, I'll tell you what, absolutely blast you in the face. If you've never had you know, this beer or this type of beer that's really, really hoppy, um, the first time you have it, it's going to be a bit of a shock to your system because it literally feels like I just got punched in the face, you know, with a fistful of hops. But it's got that initial blast and it really, really smooths out, which is interesting. I'm going to give it another pull here. So, yeah, huge blast initially in the face with hops, but then smooths out and produces a little bit of bitterness at the end, which... Um, some IPAs have more bitterness than others. You know, this reminds me almost more of a double IPA with the amount of hops that it has in it. And a lot of times double IPA is a little bit more bitter uh, than just your traditional American IPA. 
Um, but you can really taste the, you know, that citrusy taste that I that I mentioned earlier. But um, as opposed to the smell, which is more of an orange or lemon smell, the taste is really almost more of a grapefruit, um, kind of that sour, sort of that sweet and sour dichotomy, so to speak, that a grapefruit has. Um, you got that. You, you definitely have that um, in the flavor here. But it's also got that malt complex to it. You know, you don't really taste the malt until the end. Um, the malt gets overpowered because of the hops initially just pummeling you. But, you know, the malt is there and it produces. That's what really makes it smooth. Um, you know, a lot of times you drink an IPA like this that blasts you with hops. And it's going to be, you know, strong and sort of bitter and sour the whole time. But, you know, because of the malt complex that they have, it really produces that smoothing effect. And... You know, Shorts on the bottle and on the box has one of the best quotes I've ever heard in my life about a beer. And they sum it up by saying it's a complex malt and hop theme park in your mouth. Absolutely one of the best things I've ever heard. Everybody likes theme parks. Who doesn't want a theme park in their mouth while they're drinking a beer? Um, go out and get yourself some Shorts Humalupalicious. You won't be disappointed. I can promise you that. If you've never had it, or you know, like I said, if you're used to drinking, you know, Coors Light or Miller Light or Budweiser or whatever it might be, those are great beers to go out and, you know, watch a game and drink. But if you really want to expand your palate, taste something that's a little bit more complex and definitely different than what you're used to, step out of the comfort zone and get some Humalupa Delicious. You will not be disappointed. Um, you know, the first time you drink it, the first bottle or the you know the first glass you have. You know, it might be a bit of a struggle to get through it, but I promise you, if you give it a chance, you'll love it. Um, like I said, it's one of my all-time favorite beers, and I, I highly recommend it. It's available now uh, in a lot of different places, pretty much everywhere. You know, grocery stores, liquor stores carry it now. Their distribution process has grown so much in the last few years. You know, you used to not really be able to find it um, in a lot of places, but now it's, you know, Papa Joe's or really any of the markets. I think even Kroger um, carries it. You know, there's liquor stores everywhere that carry it. It's on tap in a lot of different places. Slows, Lockhart's are, are two that come to mind that I've been to recently that, that have it on tap. Um, so go out and find it. Drink some of the other Shorts beers. You know, we're going to do some shows coming up down the road over the winter here, hopefully where we take a look at some of the other beers that they do because they're an outstanding brewing company. And like I said, we're going to try to get up there um, probably after Christmas, uh, maybe between Christmas and New Year, something like that. Get up there and um, check out the food, sample everything, talk to the, the brewmaster up there and give you guys a great um, inside look at what they do. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned also because next week we're really excited. We've got our first on-location show that we're going to do. It's a local business here in Ferndale. Um, I don't want to give away too much about it, but they're doing some pretty amazing things Excuse me, with local businesses, and I'm very, very impressed with the operation that they have. So I'm excited to go there and talk with the ownership and show you what they're doing. I think you guys will love it. So that's probably going to be sometime at the end of next week or early um, the following week. We're going to try to squeeze in a couple more shows between now and then. You know, we got Red Wings hockey that's starting up, so we're going to try to do something. Um, talk a little Red Wings hockey. Hopefully I'll have a guest here um, that will help me do that. And then, obviously, we'll, we'll keep following the, the football that's going on. Michigan State with a huge win last weekend over Notre Dame with the uh, fake field goal. Um, and then, you know, Michigan – um, didn't look great, but won, so they're 3-0. And then, of course, our, uh, our wonderful um, Detroit Lions are 0-2 after losing to the Eagles 35-32 and uh, Mike Vick last weekend. So go to the website. We've been posting a lot of stuff on, on the site about those things, a lot of sports stuff. We've got some new drink recipes, um, you know, just trying to talk about some of the events that are coming up. So go there because, you know, we're posting the shows there, but we're also doing a lot of other things there with, you know, just more traditional blog posts. So want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. You know, let us know what you think. If you hate this or you think it sucks or you want us to do something else, I want to hear about it. So please let us know. And if you love it, tell us that too because that's always nice to hear. Um, you know, We work hard to put this stuff together and we really think we've got a great concept here and we're doing good things. So hopefully you guys agree. Tell your friends. Spread the word. Um, stay tuned for next week and we'll catch you next time on The Dude Show.